Okay guys, today we're going to talk about fluid and electrolytes. It's Jessica again for all you fellow nursing students. And I totally did not get fluid and electrolytes until after we had a study session after the test and the teacher drew this drawing for us. So I'm going to draw this. Here you go. So here is your blood vessel. That big long stick is your blood vessel and outside is your tissue and cells. Now for example, if you look here at the vessel, imagine it's just full of water and you see there's only two sodiums. So if you have an imbalance where there is less sodium or less tone than there is fluid, then you are hypotonic. And when you are hypotonic, you don't have that much sodium in there, but you have way too much water. You're overloaded with water. So what's going to happen is the water is going to leave the vessels. It's going to go here into the tissues and cells. That's going to cause your cells to swell and possibly burst. So there's a fine balance in that. But remember, hypotonic, not enough tone, not enough sodium in there, way too much water. It's, water is going to leave the vessel, go into the cells, cause them to swell. Okay, so now let's talk about isotonic. If you can see here, it's pretty well evenly spread that we have sodium and water pretty well balanced. If you're isotonic, then you are balanced between your sodium and water and everything is great. So for example, if the patient has blood loss, they would need isotonic fluids to help balance so that you're not trying to change the fluid levels or the sodium levels necessarily, but as a whole, you're trying to increase blood volume. Okay, so for example with this, this is considered hypertonic. If you can see, there's a lot of sodium or a lot of tone in the vessel and there would not be that much water. So if you're hypertonic, you basically have way too much tone, not enough water, so you need water to be balanced out. So you're going to pull water from the cells into the vessel to help balance things and that in turn will cause your cells to shrivel or shrink and could possibly shrink to where they die, but that's kind of how the balance happens. So there you go, hypertonic.